What's up, guys? Coach Matt at YouGoProBaseball.com. I'm here again with Cole Enright, Rangers organization, Chris Marlowe, Light Tower Baseball. We're doing a little short fungo drill here. So here's a great drill for Cole to really work his hands. He's going to start on his knees. Okay, as the ball's being hit, the glove's going to be out front. Notice how Cole's butt is off his heels. He's in a good position, good, strong, stable position. Depending on the hop, he's either raking and working through the ball or bringing it to his chest. Notice how Cole's eyes follow the ball into the glove. He's really exaggerating following the ball into the glove. Now Cole, when I'm hitting these, that last one was kind of in the middle of your body and you went backhand. Is that for any particular reason or you just mix it up or whatever you're feeling? How does that work? I mean, ideally game situation, you know, all the different scenarios of, of a game playing out, you might have to feel the ball at you that's a bit slower, fast runner at the plate. I might have to come get it backhand and make it throw quick. Um, obviously when I'm practicing, I just want to make sure that I'm in the state of mind that, hey, like I want to be able to be ready when game time comes. And um, if I just am going to practice everything out front, and everything very game-like, then I'm going to go ahead and do things that are abnormal. So that's really it. Now, let me ask you this. When you're on your knees, it takes you out of the ability to create space or take away space and put yourself in a better position to field the ball like we want to do when we're fielding. Is that a benefit to this drill? Because now you're actually having to field balls that you normally wouldn't uh, because you're not able to play yourself into a better position. So now you're getting work on some of those balls that might hit the rock or hit a bad spot in the field and it's hard to put yourself into a good position is that a benefit of this drill yeah so obviously by me fielding the ball on my knees i'm taking my legs out of the equation so this is strictly a hands drill this is something you do before you you know stand up and start taking live ground balls and um yeah just kind of like chris was talking about look like i want to be as loose and relaxed as i can you watch a big league defender or any professional defender or even college defenders, a lot of them do a really good job of being relaxed. They're breathing, they're controlling, um, you know, they're not, the game is not speeding up on them. So uh, that's one of the big things that I see young, young players, a lot of them are very stiff. Uh, the ready position's stiff, everything's very stiff. You watch a good big league infielder, the Omar Vizquel's, the people like that, they're very relaxed as they're about to go. Even the ready position, it's very ready to move anywhere. So I think that's a huge key for young baseball players nowadays. Now, Cole, how often are you doing this drill? How many reps are you trying to do? Or are you just feeling it out day by day? Tell me what you go through on that. Yeah, well, the nice thing about this drill is that I can do 100 reps and knock them out really quick. I mean, you have someone pop, 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 and I'm just, you know, I can get 100 reps in, you know, a couple minutes. So uh, this is one I'd love as opposed to going out to a field and, you know, you're taking ground balls and you're getting fatigued. There's really no fatigue involved and taking a ground ball here, or even for that matter, standing up and taking them at this position uh, with the feet set. So, a uh, big fan of working working smarter, not harder, and uh, this is just one of the drills I can use to do that. So Chris, uh, Cole obviously is playing baseball at the highest levels of the game, but you and I coach a lot of younger players. What is something that you're looking for in your younger players when they're performing this drill? So, that's a great question, John. One thing that I look for and I try to get my players to focus on is when they're down in this position, as the ball's coming to them, I wanna see a little bit of sway of the body toward the ball, okay? A lot of the younger ones, if the ball's hit to their left knee, they wanna pull their body to the right and shy away from the ball. So that's why it's a short fungo, so you're really building that confidence of kind of working through the ball and coming and getting it. There should be a little bit of sway toward where the ball is. Okay, you shouldn't really see them pulling back from the ball or the body pulling away. You almost want them to focus on keeping their nose over the ball. So what's awesome about this drill is that I'm gonna, it's gonna force me to pick my hops. So a lot of the balls that John's hitting are gonna, some are gonna be, be chopped and they're gonna, they're gonna make me go out and get them. But if you'll notice, uh, rarely am I just fielding a routine ground ball this way. So I'm really making my hands and eyes work. I'm gonna have to read the hop out front, maybe let it come a little bit deeper, get the short hop, things like that. Um, really valuable for a young infielder to learn early on. Hope you guys liked that video. Um, thanks, Cole. Thanks, Chris. That was some really good information. Um, 
Check out Cole's information, all his social media stuff. He's posting some really good stuff. I'll leave all his links down below in the description. Same goes for Light Tower Baseball. Check him out on Facebook, but I'll leave the links down below. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll check you on the next video.